Hey, this is Stacia, and we are going to play training game on chess.com. I just lost a game where I spent way too much time and parts where I should never use time. So we are going to treat this like a rapid game this time. And I'm going to make, I'm going to follow my intuition as much as I can and try to pause for critical moves only. Okay, so here my intuition says d5. I'll play this in a blitz game. So let's just do it. <laughs> okay, and we're probably gonna get some kind of Benoni here. Now I can decide if I want to do like my normal setup with c4, knight c3, or I could go even just c3. Knight f6 is weird though. Uh, maybe it's not weird. So maybe knight c3 is the way to go. Okay, I am gonna do this. So I'll ask for a plan later where I can bring the knight into c4. But we don't even know if they're gonna go d6. Hmm. Okay, I'm happy that my knight's behind the pawn now because this is a bit more symmetrical than a normal Benoni. We both have an open E file. They're gonna need to play that. And so getting the knight to C4, it's gonna be good. All right. Um, Don't want him to pin me though. So my intuition says bishop d3. Let's do it. <laughs> and let's try to stay even on the clock or even ahead on the clock. Why don't we shoot for a head on the clock? Time management has to be the goal in this game. So, okay, I want to play knight f3, but I don't really want to allow bishop g4. So if I go h3, they castle, knight f3, rook e8. I'm in time to castle there. So I'm going to play h3. Okay, we're still even on the clock. Okay, a4, I'm not even going to think about it. Just a4. We're stopping b5, the typical Benoni counterplay. Okay, knight there blocks the bishop. I'm just going to go knight f3, I think. Makes sense to me. Okay, I can castle as well. I don't see anything else to consider. Knight b6 feels weird. But they are attacking my pawn. I'll give them that. Hmm. Huh, I can win h7 though, so I'm not going to concern myself with that. I think maybe I'll just go rook e8. I can't play knight e2 because it'll stop <clears throat> the tactic that I want. Okay, so I'm behind on the clock, so I'm going to try to play fast to catch back up. So I'm saying like, take, take take I have check here and queen takes so that seems reasonable so they might go king h8 or something then how do I protect my pawn then I don't know um Hmm. Okay, I'm thinking a5 because I need to resolve this tension. They could even play c4. Take, take. Take, take. Should be okay, I guess. 
I could also play bishop g5. Just to take the knight to relieve the pressure. I don't like trading that bishop though. Their bishop's going to be a monster. Okay, a5 takes, 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 check, fair, takes. Seems okay. I gotta, <coughs> I gotta move. <coughs> I'm playing faster than usual, <laughs> but I'm still behind on the clock. Okay, so let's see. They are a minute ahead of me. Are they going to take there? I mean, it's a move. It's a move for sure. They actually win a center pawn. I win their H pawn. So, you know, honestly, they it's probably the right thing for them to take. Makes me wonder um, how I misplayed this. Or if I misplayed it. I don't feel like I misplayed it, but I do feel like I don't understand <laughs> this position because I rarely play knight c3 in front of my c pawn. I usually have a c pawn protecting. So how am I supposed to defend that is my question. And they stopped at that one plan I wanted to do. So maybe it is bishop g5. So are they going to take the pawn? Because if they don't, they have to retreat. And I think I'd be, yeah, I'm happy to see this. Okay, I thought taking was better. But now, um, how do we continue? I probably go through with that plan now. Knight d2 and knight c4. They're going to go 95. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Mm hmm. Now, I'd rather keep this bishop, but. So now if knight c4, I do think they take take. Or if knight c4, did they? No, they can't do that. Knight c4, I'm also threatening Maybe knight b6, maybe. I could go bishop c4. Doesn't feel right. I think I let them take. <laughs> I hope I'm right about this. <laughs> I mean, I'm also like just considering rook takes e5, pawn takes e5, and knight c4. But there might be e4, and yeah, we don't we we don't need to give up the exchange. That seems silly. So I'm gonna do this, and let's see how they react to it. I think I'm almost happy to see this. My knight's very good on c4, but if they take this way, I'm less comfortable. My bishop's not great, but protecting a very important pawn. And ready to come back to the Greek diagonal anytime. So if I get a free move, I'll play bishop f4, but I don't think I will. 
Um, I think they'll probably take one way or the other. Could be wrong. You know, I forgot about this 92 knight g3 thing in the symmetrical. I wish I would have played that, but that's okay. I haven't seen that for a while. I think I had it in Kings Island last year. That was about nine months ago. But then I had it again at the Parma Chess Club around the same time period. I also had it at chess camp this, <laughs> like actually yesterday at chess camp. It's funny how it didn't show for like nine months and then it showed up twice. Comes in pairs. All right, I should be thinking instead of like <laughs> distracting myself. So what am I doing here? What is my plan? They have a, a weakness on d6. We want to attack it. Okay, I'm going to take with a queen. There's no question. As long as I'm not blundering. And I'm not. Okay. So the knight on c4 lives. Black has two bishops, though. I want to target d6. I think that's one plan for sure. Just apply maximum pressure there. That's going to include bishop f4, maybe even knight e4, maybe even queen g3. We have different ways to pressure there. It's not going to be as easy for them to defend, although they can defend. Queen c7, rook d8, stuff like that. Okay. They don't like bishop g5, which I had no intention of playing. I like bishop f4. I already see sort of a tactic. Okay, so we're roughly even on the clock. I'm actually slightly ahead. Okay, so let's see how this situation turns out for me compared to a normal game where I would have four minutes here. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's what happened last game. It was horrible. And truth be told, after I'm done thinking about a bunch of stuff, I usually play the move that I would play in two seconds. So why not play in two seconds, you know? At least for non-important, non-critical moves. I think it's probably fine to move in two seconds. But we will have a critical position at some point, and I will have time to think, and I will think. In the meantime, I like the pressure on d6. I kind of like the idea of knight e4. I wonder if they're going to go bishop f8 to open up the, the rook. But I guess if they do that, I can trade. If they take with the queen, I am going to win d6. So they would have to actually bring their knight to the back row. I like the look of it. So the, the knight on c4 is, like, I don't play this line that much, so, but we got this. This is the whole point of it. And I like it now. I like it now. I really think they should have took on d5 while they had the chance. So what should they do now? That's the question. Can they go crazy and attack me, like, sack on h3? No, we just take with a queen. Um, can they go knight h5? Highly doubt it. Knight h5, bishop h2. Mm. 
and then I really do have 94. Okay, so they probably need to develop that bishop and try to get a rook on d8. I mean, they're probably just too slow, huh? Are they just too slow? Maybe they'll go g6 to try and get that move. It's possible. If they go g6, though, what do we do? Queen c7, okay. Kind of like 94 here. Ninety four. Knight takes, rook takes. The knight c four protects a five as well. Ooh, what about queen g six? Is that a move? I'm threatening bishop h6, and I'm also attacking uh, d6 again. So that looks nice. I guess there's knight h5 there. On knight h5, I think I can play bishop takes d6. And if he takes on g3, I just come right back. Slingshot, back. So I think this move is good. So I'm just going to make sure. This is more like a critical moment, and I have time on my clock. So if knight h5, which attacks these two pieces, I'm saying this move here. They can take here, but then I get this check. I can't imagine that's not good. Then I can take back here. Then I can just move my queen with check. And we're we're pretty happy. The knight's attacking as well. So oh actually, yeah, the knight's attacking. I could play queen takes even. I like this move. This makes so much sense. I'm gonna play it. I unprotected d5, but it's only attacked once. And now they have to defend their pawn again. If they do this. They did do that. Okay. Well, now we have bishop h6, I thought. Right? Am I crazy? Bishop h6, knight a5? That might be their idea. It might be bishop h6, knight a5. It's difficult to stay on that diagonal, but I have queen f3 attacking the knight. So if they take the bishop, I take the knight. I also feel like I have other options too. So I think I think I should take. That's what I think. So I will. Gotta trust my calculation, right? Okay, I was thinking queen f3. I also have queen e3, another move. Queen e3 attacks the bishop, but maybe rook d8. Yeah, maybe rook d8. So, but this one attacks the knight. They want to protect it with g6. I'm good with that because then my bishop's not attacked. And if they take, I take them. And their king's looking shaky already. So queen f3 it is. We're going to just play it. Okay, we're um, still about even on the clock. That was the point of this. I need to learn to play like this more. Honestly, maybe I... Um, I think that my taking a bunch of time might be a confidence issue. Like, I'm just like scared to play the moves that I'm scared to trust myself. 
So maybe I should just trust myself and lose sometimes, you know? I think that's better than losing on time. <laughs> so, and I have to say, it feels so nice to be up on the clock. Wow, it feels great. And it feels great to have eight minutes. Now I feel confident that if a critical position arise, arises, I have plenty of time to figure it out. And I'm pretty happy with this position as well. I mean, I'm up, I'm up a pawn at the moment. It's really up to black to figure out, like, what to do. I also have tons of pressure on their weak d6 pawn, and I'm more active, and my rooks are connected. Yeah, I was hoping to see this move. Okay, so what do we do now? I almost want to play g4, but that's probably an overreaction. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I want to Doubling rooks seems like a good idea. Could I just simply double rooks? Still can't take too much time. And I could also just retreat. If he takes me, I take. I don't love that, but I think it's fine. Also, this is weak. Can I do something with that? That'd be so nice. about 94 right now 94 there's nothing attacking this I can I can play 94 ooh 94 and g5 take take then I've got their dark square bishop and I've got the dark squares 94 seems good I also attacks this again but it's overprotected Rookie A. There's also this move. No, no, that loses a piece. But okay, knight e4, I think, is our winner. Because I don't want to spend too much time. I like knight e4. I hope I'm not missing anything. <laughs> Could be. Maybe they'll go bishop f5, possibly. But if they go bishop f5. I can go knight g5. If they take the pawn, I would play queen takes. Check, win the bishop. Also, it's probably mate. No, but it's very close. Um, They did do this. Okay. So I, I think knight g5 now. There might be another move too. Okay, this is a critical position. This looks critical. I really like the look of knight g5 though. I'm threatening g4 and I'm threatening queen takes f7. So if they take, we take back. They take here on the rook. Tempo on the queen. That looks really good. I'm going to go with knight g5. I really like this a lot. There might be something better even, but... We're also just threatening knight takes f7, king takes g4. That's pinned. There's a fork. This looks extremely good. I'll go ahead and pre-move this capture. Just 
probably not the best idea, but I'll do it anyway because, hey, playing faster has helped me this whole game. I'm going to keep doing it. I'd really like to get this one. Bishop takes c2, looks horrible. They can't play that way. Okay, I didn't expect that move. <laughs> Probably should have. Okay. He's just avoiding g4, so it's pretty defensive. I guess they really are threatening to take c2. Where's our move? Where's our move? Can I take there? No, I don't know about that. What about queen c3? It's an interesting move. Protect c2, but the bigger point is that it pins the knight. If they move their knight, I will play checkmate. but the knight is protected, so I'm not sure that's right. Um, okay, I better think faster. Let's see. If g4 and bishop takes, g4, bishop takes, I think I actually could play here, here, and g5, because the knight's pinned. Take, take, there. Is that enough? Feels right. <laughs> I'm running out of time, so I gotta do it, huh? I don't see another move I like. Although queen c3 I have in reserve here. So I was thinking if this I take here, but is there like rook d8 or something like that? It's a question. They didn't take. Okay, so they're trying to stay solid, I think, which makes some sense. Now I like knight e4. I just have to blitz now. Because I thought takes, and I take with a rook, and I'm doubling. Should be okay.
Bishops attacked. Rook d8, rook e1. Then they have to move the bishop. Bishop b5, I guess. I honestly could go for knight b6 now. I feel like this isn't so important anymore. It's more about the king side in general. So, and maybe trading that bishop is a good idea. But maybe not. Actually, maybe not. That bishop doesn't seem so great. Yes, I do this. I go here. Maybe knight e3. Maybe knight d2. Or maybe b3. Ooh, what about queen c3? <laughs> I just like queen c3. It's like, hey, I'm going to checkmate you. How do you like that? <laughs> Take my knight, I dare you. All right, um... I want to double rooks, really. Um, I guess they could play f6. They could play bishop f8. On bishop f8, I'll go bishop g5. Then f6 fails. Okay. So I'll do what I said. And now I want to get the rook on e1. They could go bishop g7, that's true. But then bishop f6, take, take. I like that queen position there. And this exchange should be good for me. They can take and distract my rook, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, they do it. OK, this is going to be interesting. I'm not coordinated at all now. But I am up of one point of material. <laughs> I'm behind a minute on the clock, more than that even. They should go rookie A for sure. And then I'll go rook F4, I guess. You know what? For rook e8, I could play g5. It looks crazy, but I'm actually threatening to just bring the rook in and win. Their king can barely move, so I really love this move, g5. I'm probably going to do it. I think they see it, and that's why they're thinking. Let's say they try to defend somehow, but how? How do you stop that? I don't know. I think you still have to do this to play queen e7. So let's say rook there, g5. Queen e7. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's queen e7.
Queen e7, take, take. I don't like so much. I really want to challenge the file, but what about rook f4, though? Rook f4, queen e7. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to do this one, but I'm just blitzing now. Queen e7, I think, is good. Oh my gosh, they're crazy. I have rook h4. Why would you allow that? What Am I missing something? Rook h4 looks very strong. Like what, what do they do? Please tell me, because I don't know. They really missed my threat. That's my... They need more puzzle rush. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the uh my conclusion. Jose Abdon, a little more puzzle rush. Cause you have to defend this. You can't just let me do this. Yeah, he saw it as soon as I did it. Good game and well played. You just miss one thing at the end. And hey, um, I think I managed my time better this game and lo and behold, I actually won it. So let's see if I played okay. And especially when I played quickly because that that's gonna help me play more quickly in the future. Okay, not the most well-played game, but if you look at the graph, apparently I knew what I was doing. So let's go ahead and see. Old Benoni defense, whatever. Okay, so there was another plan in the opening that I do want to uh, look at. So instead of h3, I think I can play knight to e2 here. And wow, it says it's best. Okay, but I actually want to close. How do I block this? <laughs> Where's the hamburger menu? <laughs> That's what I call it on Lee Chess because Michael Jolson <laughs> called it that. Um, can I block everything out? I just want to block everything out. Wow, won't let me. Okay, how about like this? Okay, perfect. Details. Um, the idea behind this is now they can't so easily play this move because we'll, we'll go F3. And when they go back, we'll just castle. And we'll actually put the knight on g3. And we'll actually go, like, we'll go for this. And I, I've done this before, but not, not many times, mind you. But I know this is a real plan. And I also know that the knight coming to c4 is another plan. Um, so I'm actually a little disappointed I didn't go for knight e2. Because I don't like playing h3, but... It's kind of important. The reason I played h3 is because if I go knight f3 right away, the bishop, this bishop has a purpose. And if you play h3, it actually turns out that that bishop doesn't have anywhere to go, right? Like I'm covering that. He can't go here. And like this is just passive and gets in the way of like the knight and all kinds of stuff. So, so h3 is actually quite strong, I believe. But I prefer not to play it. But anyway, um, I did play h3 in the game, which is listed, as you can see. And now let's go back to the review. So that was a mistake. That's interesting. I did not realize that was a mistake during the game. I thought it was a move. So he should have done what? Yeah, I was afraid of this. Because now I have a bad bishop protecting a good pawn, which is a thing, but I'd rather my bishop be like here. But then I give that up. Not right away, but maybe after king h8. So this is how he should have played, but white's better here, as you can see. So... 
I'm not upset about it at all. I'm pretty happy. So when I play quickly um, or more quickly, I do find the right moves. Yeah, and I, I actually think that in my mind, I feel that if I think more, I'll find the best move. But I think in reality, if I think more, I sometimes find the best move and I sometimes just waste time. More often, the latter. So, I was playing quickly and I was playing fine. Look, I was never worse. This is good. Yep. Beautiful. I thought knight e4 might be very strong, but let's see. g4 also, knight b6. I was considering these moves too. Rook e2, doubling. I consider all of that too. Knight e4 though. Wow. White's plus four? Are you kidding me? Uh, I mean, I knew I was better. I would have never have said it was plus 4.7. Okay, they go here. I should have gone g4. Oh, they like this move too. e4. Knight e4 is inaccurate. Okay. What should I do here? Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't take a free bishop. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> oh, but look at the time. Look at the time. This is why I need time on my clock. This is a very good example, right? I'd never miss that with time on my clock. Take a free bishop. Wow. Oh, because I probably moved right away. I did. I moved pretty quick. I'm just like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? And I'm a little panicky and I play here. Take the free bishop and win the game. That's that's how you do it. So, wow, I'm quite embarrassed, but okay. <laughs> yeah, and here I really thought about b3. Is b3 bad? I really thought about it. <laughs> it's winning too. I just liked this pawn structure. I thought this was, this is fine. Um, instead, I went here. But I like that it's concrete. Yeah, this looked really good. Okay, and then I found this idea of g5. Turns out it's very strong. Um, wow, I can ignore the bishop and play g5. That's how strong it is. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to do that with two minutes on my clock. Um, I just take back. Okay, g1. G5. Okay, it's a mistake here because I thought queen e7 was good. And it is, but white's still fine and better even. Um, yeah, queen d 8 the other way, which I didn't see. But both challenge my queen. That's the important thing. I thought after queen e7, I might have taken. Yeah, and this would have been, this would have been harder to win, right? Like, we're better, but... It's not, it's not as easy at all. It's a rook endgame now. And my rook's weirdly placed. They're about to take the, the file. Yeah, I don't know. I would feel uncomfortable here, to tell the truth. So, like, I have to play h4 or rook d1. Both feel unnatural. <laughs> so, they're threatening a fork. That's why you play h4. So that if they come here, we play rook d1. <laughs> yeah, we're just guarding everything. But I would feel very nervous here because now they get the file and we just have to make sure we're completely protected. They're threatening that one now. I guess I got that covered. So yeah, we go king g2. Okay, and work our way out from here. But I don't even, I mean, we're only better because we're up a pawn. But black has initiative. Honestly, this would be hard to win. It would be hard to win. Instead, um, g5, rook e5 was just a complete blunder because of rook h4. Rook h4. It's checkmate. You can't, you can't stop checkmate. The only thing you can do is go here and sec your rook, I guess, with check. Yeah, and then queen d8. Okay. To challenge my queen now, but now we're at material. I will take. 
yeah, so it's just winning. But um, interesting game. I'm pretty happy with it. Overall, I guess I didn't play great, but I played good enough. One mistake, one miss. What was the miss? Wow, there was a really good move here. It was probably e5. Why didn't I play e5? e5 looks good. So if they go here, we take their knight. They take our knight. And we take their queen. Check here. Takes up a pawn or something like that. I guess. Because I'm looking at this move. Oh. What was I talking about? I can't trade queens. <laughs> oh, look at how strong Queenie 2 is. Oh. Okay, I didn't see that. I mean, I considered e5. I just didn't think it was... It just looked unusual. But now it looks good. I should have calculated that. Okay, but I'm not upset about it because it's a rapid game. And calculating the opening moves and not finding anything is what gets me into trouble routinely. But it is good to know when there's stuff there. So it turns out that just wins. Crazy, right? We just win a piece right in the opening. That would be beautiful. And now their queen's attacked. I mean, they can trade, but think, you know, who wouldn't want to be up a piece? After trading queens, I'm feeling good. Wait, am I up a piece? They have two pawns, but they're about to be captured. Okay. <laughs> well, one's about to be captured. Um, okay, I think that's enough, but um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hey, that got me over 1,800. So I'm going to be working on my time management. I'm adding that to my training plan right now. And um, I have a couple other things I wanted to add. So ChatGPT will help me with my new training plan, my new and improved one, and we'll go from there. I'm also gonna increase the time from one hour to 90 minutes. I just wanted to start with something kind of easy and see how it went. I still do miss days for sure, um, but I teach a lot, what can you say? Um, so that's all and I'll be back with more chess. Okay, bye.